This code should be really familiar to you because it's what we saw in lesson three. One of the first plots you created was a histogram, so let's see what this one looks like. We can immediately notice some important discreteness to this distribution. There appear to be prices at which there are many observations, but then no observations in adjacent prices. This makes sense if prices are set in a way that applies to many of the consumers. There are some purchases that involve much lower prices, and if we are interested in price sensitivity, we definitely want to consider what sort of variation is in these prices. Now, I also want you to note that if we chose a different bin width, we might obscure this discreteness. Say if I chose a bin width equal to 10. In this histogram, we would miss the observation for some of the empty spaces for the adjacent prices. So it's no surprise that for this very discrete data, this histogram is a very biased model.